Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura and today let's make a little hexagon tray. We are going to need two 10 inch squares of fabric and some interfacing and I'll put a link in the description for the template. Both of the squares need to be 10 inches and I'd recommend fusing on a lightweight or a medium weight interfacing on both of the wrong sides. Take one of those squares, fold them in half, place our template along the fold, draw out and cut out that shape. I'll just trace it out on the one side, pin that together, and then use a rotary cutter for as many of the straight lines as you can. And then I'll go in and cut off the ones that the rotary cutter doesn't fit in. So I have one shape done. I need to do the second, but for the second, I do want to do it slightly different. What we're going to do is we're going to match up those right sides so that two edges are touching and press this fold. Once that is pressed in half, take that cut edge and do a very scant quarter inch seam allowance. I want to do a little bit on both sides, but I want to leave an opening. We're going to turn this tray inside out through this opening. So if we look at the template, it will go along that seam. So we need the opening around this area. There's the quarter inch seam allowance. My little opening. I will be putting this template shape on the seam allowance. Now I'm going to be able to trace around it and cut it out like I did the other. Now when we open up that second one, we have the same shape, but we do have that seam open inside. Open up that seam and press it flat. So we will now have two shapes that are the same. When we look at the template, I have labeled A and A, B and B, C and C. And that's just going to give you an idea on the seams that we need to sew. You do not need to label them A or B, but this will just tell you these two seams in these areas are going to be sewn together. So if you want, you can just mark them. So it's going to go on the one side and it'll be on the other side. Those two seams are going to be sewn together on themselves. So we're going to fold that and stitch a quarter inch. So each of those are going to be put together. So it's the small inside V's that are going to be sewn together. We do that to this piece and we also do it to the other piece. I backstitched on each end and did a quarter inch seam allowance on each one of those seams. So they're going to look like this when you finish sewing them. But when you open them up, they're going to have this shape. Turn one piece so it is right side out and place it inside the other one so we have both right sides touching. And we're going to want those seams to touch. Have one seam go in one direction and the other seam go in the other direction you're going to be able to nestle those up, stitch all the way around, matching those seams. I will pin all of those edges together. Make sure they match before you stitch. It's going to be a little awkward to stitch, so you're going to have to stitch one piece and then turn as you go along. I did use my quarter inch seam foot, which is nice and small, and I did a quarter inch seam allowance. I'm going to be able to turn it right side out through that opening in that one piece. Poke out that edge and give that seam a rub with your finger. And do that to all the seams on the one and the other. We now have this funny shape with that opening. So we can close up that opening right there. Once that's stitched, we're going to be able to put one side right inside the other one. So it won't matter what side we want, we can always make that reversible. 
and press that edge down. We now have this little bowl. We can make it deep if we'd like. When we're done with it, it can flatten and be stored away. So you can make it about two and a half inches tall or a very shallow bowl. So it can be a deep bowl or we can make it as shallow as we want and it goes perfectly flat for storage. This is a great little bowl to travel with and a great one to have beside your machine. And it's all made with two 10 inch squares, some interfacing, and the funny looking pattern. I'll put a link in the description to that pattern and thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe. I'm on Facebook, Instagram. I have a newsletter and it's all free. I appreciate it when you join me. Bye for now.